Today, 70 people. These are really good for asparagus fern. That end, but you just watch your eyes with that. Here you go. There's someone going to be doing it now. Spurses, if I can just have your attention for a couple of minutes. Um, today is probably slightly different from what we've done in the past because what we've done over the last three years is quite amazing in the transformation. And I think one of the important things to do today would be to do some follow-up. And again, it's just this, this woody section in the middle that we have, everything else can be just cut off and that's dropped into the bag. And just that with the berries. They do get larger, I mean, they can get up to such a thing. So it's important that you get all of that woody section out because any of it that's left in the ground will regrow. Hi, my name's Natasha. I'm a ranger for the National Parks and Wildlife Service. And this is Judy Morris, who's a senior field officer bush region. Um, we're working here today targeting asparagus fern. Um, we're here at Rocky Point, which is on the western Pitwater foreshore. Uh, Jude and I have been working quite a bit with the Pitwater Spot of Gum Endangered Ecological Community. Uh, we have been working on National Parks land in Towler's Bay uh, for over five years now. We were fortunate enough to get a bequeath for some funding so the volunteers could work with some paid contractors to target asparagus fern amongst the Pitwater Spotted Gum. Uh, over in Towler's Bay we actually have three endangered ecological communities. It's Littoral Rainforest, Salt Marsh and Pitwater Spotted Gum. So it's a really important area for us to try and target because we've found the understory is getting taken over by weeds such as asparagus fern. And particularly within the Pitwater Spotted Gum there's very few seedlings actually coming up. And so that's what we're trying to target looking at trying to get the understory cleared of some of the weeds and also um, po possibly in the future some burns to see if we can get the seedlings coming up. So 
we have been working at that site for over five years and very happy to come to Woody Point, which is council land, to try and get rid of some of the asparagus fern amongst the pitwater spotted gum that's here in this side of the western foreshore. Oh, I'm trying to remove the, you call them roots? But tell me in Spanish, really. Okay. Tenemos que quitar la raíz. Las bolitas estas son donde guarda el agua. Estas se pueden quedar en la tierra. Tenemos que quitar esto que es lo que puede crecer. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually a paid actor at the moment. So, so would you mind just moving away? So, I'd, I'd say that. <laughs> Get out of his life. <laughs> Especially the little ones, like that one there, as you can see him. Uh, and it's quite well hidden under leaf litter. And then you've got to just make sure that you get under enough, but the good thing is with all the rain we've had recently. The first time I ever came here on holiday, I was being interested in wildlife and flora and fauna, I just sort of found I did not know anything. And the fact that I didn't know anything meant that I got to do something to, to find out what, what was growing and what, what was around, so. Bush care was one of the things that seemed to be quite a good idea to find out what everything was. So it's been a steep learning curve. We've been coming over here yeah. now for four years and when we first got here, the whole of this area was just covered in asparagus fern. It's just been a fantastic victory for us in doing this. Probably Pitwater's worst weed, but here we've got the bush care group that can follow up on it. Neighbours who, Nick and Anne Reeves, who lived here for 25 years and used to go out every day doing a night. little bit every yeah. day. Yeah. And you just see how much of a difference they made. Yeah. And it was totally inspiring. Yeah. And it just got me hooked on the idea of getting involved. And yeah. also to me it's all about community too, that you're with Absolutely. people chatting, you're doing something useful at the same time. And if you start on the uh, lamb party, uh, something it's great. Great. Not that hard. Yeah. Then you get to this stuff and you go, whoops. Yeah, exactly. But Lantana's, Lantana's my gym. You know, I go out and do a bit of Lantana. Who needs to go to a gym? Who needs the air conditioning well, the and the thing. false light? And you're in the bush tackling Lantana. Absolutely. The one just near where I live, in the city, is some um, old people and kids from school getting together. So these are only the mobile people in the in the from the retirement. Home. Yeah, you know, the, I don't we're not the pre Zimmer frame, though. Pre Zimmer, okay. There could yeah. be the odd Zimmer down there. But... <laughs> <laughs> now they no longer have their own gardens to look after, no, so they're yeah. extraordinary resource. Yeah. Yes, that's the interesting thing, isn't it? They yes, actually they... know a lot. Yes. Mm. Well, and how many things? people do you hear say they ought to be working on this or they ought to? Yeah, they, they ought, ought to do who's that. They? Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're great believers in just being the they and just getting out and doing it. Yeah. Well, I have daughters-in-law who say, you know, why did you come to the gym? And I say, why did you come to Bush Care? <laughs> we're a bit clash of civilizations at the moment, yeah. but we're working on it. Well, sorry, I know. We, I we mean, have a community responsibility, and if we don't look after this, you know, <laughs> if, if individuals don't work up, look after the, the public man, well, who will? That's you get out and true. pick up a few weeds every day and it's making an enormous difference. It's it's me, I can make a difference. Small but things make a difference. Come to areas like this. Yeah, and you only need to know about three weeds to make an enormous difference. <coughs> I started only knowing three weeds. Lantana, asparagus fern and crofton weed. And you know, you just make a huge difference just doing those. And you've got a lifetime Obviously. of eradication ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, just with those three. <laughs> yeah. and not the other. And of course, um, I didn't get any pictures, so I don't know whether I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I might try one of Marilyn's chickens. And she's bringing you do it for the oh, lunch. Sorry. No, we do it! <laughs> you do it for the environment. Yay! Do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs>